to start. Yeah, Baldwin was on fire, came out of the bullpen, four scoreless innings, and again, that gave him the baseball today. And, and Bragging on his command, though, and he walks. Peyton Leeper to begin the contest. Just underway in this home opener. That's one area of concern for a pitching staff that was so dominant over the first weekend, Troy. They did hit eight batters, and there's a free base. They are going, and it's ball four. So three free base runs. 2-2 Here. Two -two pitch. Smoked to right for a base hit. This will chase home a run. Wilbur will hold a third. That ball kicks away from Slavens. The runners will not advance. There's for Simo. Chopper up the middle. Battles will get there. Flips to Moore. No chance to get the double play. Battles maybe having just a difficult second getting that ball out of his glove. Wright will reach, and it's a 2-0 Simo lead. Opitz is going to head and throw down, but a run is going to score, even though the Razorbacks will try and complete the third out, and they don't get it. Slavin's unable to tag Danny Wright. And the third run of the inning scores for Simo. Slavens has got to close that gap. You've got to be moving, you've got to be moving closer to that runner if you're the first baseman Slavens, and, and you got to think about it. Fourth run. Off the glove of Wicklander. It'll die in the dirt. And the inning continue. Sent out towards Wallace in right, and that will end the inning, but a busy frame for Southeast Missouri. Week in the conference, and again, outstanding. Threw 93 pitches uh, uh, last weekend against South Alabama, and a guy that's really tough. Arkansas is going to have their hands full with Dodd. Let's take a look at the Razorbacks lineup. More Franklin and Smith, then Webb, Slavens, and Opitz. Wallace, Gregory, and Battles. Pitches are maybe 70 stressful pitches. I guess. As Moore goes down on strikes quickly to begin the bottom of the first three and had the big triple for Arkansas, but he just got blown away by Dodd right there. Again, out creates a tough angle for those left-handers. That one is fair. I thought that may have been foul, but Blazevic picks it up and flips to Dodd covering. Hit a little tapper in front of the plate his first time in. That one stroke to center, and it gets by Franklin. And this is going to roll all the way to the fence. Blazevic has a chance for an easy three, and he'll stop there with a two-out triple. He's in cut short. Off the hands, chopped to third. Smith cuts in front of Battles and makes the play to end the inning. So Rip and a miss. Have him to go three for three or four for four. How about Dylan Dodd, though? Cruises through that second inning. Really controlled at the plate. Good job by Opitz hanging on that one. Wicklander doesn't waste much time. There he came in. That was a nifty pitch, and he gets the wave and a miss after base hit. But not when you're Dylan Dodd. He gets a strikeout instead. Five Ks one time through the lineup. Drifted away. That's got to be tough. And great fastball on the inside corner by Dylan Dodd. Stroke down the left field line. Staus into the corner. That's into the bullpen and gone. Christian Franklin's first home run of the season. Franklin catches this ball. Very in. Yeah, a little bit in. A nice stroke right there. And it didn't get out by much. Forrest, I think, almost in it. Up the middle. Moore can't get there. Base hit by Staus. Up the middle. And through for a base hit. Back-to-back -back singles by the eight and nine hitters. Six in the start. There's a wave and a miss. And the throw down to second base should be in time. It is. Opitz to Moore to a race house. The middle, he hits the outside corner on a pitch that Webb just kind of cringes on. And then he got the strikeout right there on the changeup. That's seven strikeouts yeah. for Dylan Dye. Outstanding. Health issue. Yeah, it's going to be tough. That one rocketed to right. Back to the wall. Goodbye. Maybe the first of many at Mom Walker for Brady Slavens. A missile. Thanks. It's an underappreciated art. Battles waves and missiles. That's eight strikeouts for Dodd. Any right faces Monk. Yeah, a little but... bit high to me. That's strike three. 
He didn't like it, did he? Smith has walked and fly to right. Serves one to left field. A good piece of hitting for a single to begin the Hogs' sixth inning. Bound. 90th pitch for Dodd. Little dribbler back to the mound. Dodd will force the throw to second, and it's not in time. Even had that ball been caught, Troy, I believe Smith was easily going to be safe. The outfield's huge. Rip and a miss. That's a big out for Dodd. Huge strikeout for Dodd. Yep, that's good. Hey, we're at the park. Ball four. Good, good. sequence from Wallace. Yeah, really good at bat. Dodd a free run. He didn't do that. How about Dodd leaving three men on base? Wow, outstanding job. Corn with bases loaded, you've got to come out and be tight. And that's a great job by Monk just to get the punch out right there. Franklin dribbles one to third. Leaper will charge and throw on the run and gets Franklin nice play to win the inning. Or you can be grateful. And that roller will trickle into center and Wilbur's on for the third time. On a dish. That one is going to stay fair, and Monk will throw one that, boy, Slavens was lucky to make the play. If that oh, he got the kick. Opitz will have to complete the strikeout with a throw to first, but that is a big first out. He's healthy, but he's one for 17 until that swing, and it's going to drive in a run and maybe two. And the Red Hawks, who have never trailed today, are back up three. More than Arkansas has scored. That's that pitch right there, Troy. I mean, that thing seems to flutter a bit, and hitters just don't pick it up. They have never trailed, never led today. Zemo's never trailed, and Troy, good pitching out of the uh, Red Hawks. Strike three call. Got a pitch to hit there, and that was one gray left over the plate. Hitters usually do not miss. Pound of that into the grass, and Slavens will apply the tag. Be able to drive. <laughs> or maybe just cue one to short. Wilbur, though, handled that. Blazovic did not, and the Hogs have a base run. Soft flare headed to right center field, down for a hit. Wallace will turn and go to third, and the Hogs will bring the tying run of the plate in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's deficit down to their final two outs. This will help. A flare towards center, dropping base hit. Wallace got locked up reading that ball, but he will score. Lifted to right. Back goes Zivic. Running out of room. Leaping. It's off the top of the fence. It's not a home run. The Hogs do not score, but the bases are loaded. And Moore's pointing, maybe thinking that higher win this game here. Ball four, it's a one-run contest in the bottom of the ninth inning here because of transfer rules. It's a little flare to left, but Staus was playing shallow. The catch is made. Battles is going to try and score. This game is tied. Moore scrambles back to second. He's safe, and it's a 5-5 game. They're going to they're gonna appeal that play at third. Did he leave Battles early? leaving early. It was really close. Here's the appeal. They're going to try no. to appeal, but the no. problem was, the play was dead. Miller was not in contact with the rubber. He has to be in contact with the rubber. They're, they're telling him what he has to officially do. It's right there. Did he leave early? No, he did not. Already in scoring position. Well, the last time there was a ball game for Arkansas today. How about that? Strike three called. Wilbur, one of the best shortstops in the country, disposed of to be. Shocked by that. Soft dribbler to first. Wiggins has to get over and cover. He does, and Jackson Wiggins cruises through the top of the 10. That's a three pitch K to begin the 10th inning. Hit to right. Back goes Zivic. He's going to have to play it up off the chain link fence. Opitz has a one out double, and the potential winning run is in scoring position. That him. clipped him wow. on that elbow guard. Now things are getting really interesting. That's Battles rolls one up the middle. And the Razorbacks win in the bottom of the tenth in the home opener. The infield single by Jalen Battles. It opens the first there to celebrate.